it seemed like a wonderful fit for our students at Congregation Albert mm -hmm. to really be connected with the museum. It was a, an area of need to increase mm -hmm. Holocaust education here at Congregation Albert in the school. We talked about the Behind the Lens project and the ability for the students to learn about the Holocaust, which has so many universal themes, but yet for the Jewish people, it is a personal story. At the time that Hitler was in power, it was a very dangerous time, and there were a few times that I had to ask an adult to walk with me so I would be safe. And that just seemed really weird to me, like, that a child would be in so much danger that an adult would have to actually walk them home. Because there's so much anti-Semitism that sometimes you'd get beaten up for killing Christ or something. And I feel like today there's a lot of racism and anti-Semitism among adults, which is kind of different than kids. They were just extremely fascinated to actually finally, they saw and met someone that actually went through this and, and getting a chance to really sit with that person for a moment and not just hear a story, but mm -hmm. really engage with them and see that there's more than just that story that they have and about who they are that mm -hmm. really makes that personal connection. I remember I, uh, I was staying with a, a woman, Polish woman. She had a baby and a little girl, and I put the little girl on my back, and the whole village ran in the woods, and we could see the fire of our village. We found that she was a really, really kind woman and she had a lot of stories to tell and it was overall really, really fun to talk to her and hear her story. I think the thing that strikes me the most in talking with my parents about their experience is how much they wanted to live and how a stroke of fate really saved both of them they were both incarcerated in work camps for four years. Um, both of them nearly died, and it was only through the good grace of other people that each of them survived. She was very excited the night that she came home and said that they had um, met with survivors and were able to hear their story and ask questions. So that was a very deep connection for her that brought her back kind of into the idea of Judaica and studying. I don't know if that would... Yeah. Or you don't think you need it? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it's good I, showing I think it's good teenagers. Yeah. And it almost feels like the lessons for the Holocaust, people haven't learned the lessons. And people are still hating, people are still killing each other, people are still abusing each other. It's terrible. It's, it's for people that come from my background, it's sad. It's very sad. No one spoke up. None of the kids said that, oh, this is wrong. We shouldn't beat someone up for something they didn't do or just because other people tell us to, like a lot of the adults were telling them to. And that a lot of time humanity doesn't care as long as they're following other people. As long as what they do is cool, they don't care what it is. There was one, uh, one day where they were sitting in our social hall mm -hmm. and chatting and eating snacks and enjoying their time with the uh, survivors. There was just some moments there where it was two people talking, and it made me think that our students are, they're gonna be the generation who are gonna carry those stories and carry those mm -hmm. people, well, not just one story about them, but who mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. for generations to come, and they'll be able to tell those stories too.